Okay, um, discussions on the forum um, asking about mass flow rates and discussions about balancing heating systems and just try and explain a, a few points. So I've, uh, I've knocked this up rather rapidly, so hopefully we don't have any errors here. But when we're designing a heating system, we're taking a set of criteria to design to, such as an internal temperature of 21 and an external temperature to function at minus one uh, for London, for example. So, uh, so basically we're calculating the heat loss for the property or for the room, 21 internal, minus one outside. And for this example, I've decided that we've got to two kilowatts at that temperature. And uh, this radiator here uh, is sized for 5030, so that's a flow of 50, return of 30, delta T 20, to give us a mean water temperature of 40, to maintain 21 inside when it's minus one outside. Now at that point, if it's minus one outside, we will have a heat loss of two kilowatts when it's 21 inside. And if we've got 40 degree mean water temperature here, we will have a flow rate according to our mass flow rate calculation of 1.43 litres a minute or 0.024 litres per second. Um, now, if I choose to do the balancing on a day, for example, when it is plus 11, my heat loss from inside to outside is now reduced to one kilowatt. And uh, if I leave the flow rate and the temperature as it is, Basically, I'm going to be trying to get two kilowatts out of the radiator. The room won't stay at 21. The room's going to overshoot. So I might reach one radiator at the point it hits 21 in the room. But by the time I've measured the delta T across that one and possibly adjusted it, all the other rooms are going to be overheating or switching off on stats if we've got stat systems. And we're not going to be able to balance. Um, so this really isn't a very practical method of doing it. But what we could do um, is work all the maths backwards and work out what the temperature difference should be for the flow rate. If we, we know the pump's a fixed rate pump, for example, um, we could say, OK, well, we, we're going to get a heat loss if we maintain 21 of one kilowatt. And the DT should now be 10 if we've got a fixed rate pipe. The flow rate's not changing, but the energy out is. And we're only going to get one kilowatt out to maintain the 21. And so we could actually balance for delta T10. Um, and what we'd actually be measuring then, if you go back to the mass flow rate, um, is that would prove that we had the same flow rate for the delta T20 target. Or um, if we actually adjusted the flow to give us the one kilowatt to maintain 21, um, we would actually be measuring at 50% uh, flow. So we would balance the system up based on 21 inside and uh, 11 outside and we would have a system that was running at half the required flow rate especially if it's a fixed rate pump for example and we restricted the flow to give us delta t20 and we've now got the flow running half of what it should be simply because we didn't take note of the outside temperature this outside temperature is critical and it is this relationship between heat loss and radiator sizing that makes weather comp so effective as you can see here, I've made a note here about the weather compensation. So what the weather compensation does is rather than reduce the flow rate necessarily, um, it will reduce the mean water temperature at the radiator. Now the complications of this come when we reduce flow rates um, and mean water temperatures, and it starts getting very complicated. And um, Feastman have uh, boiler, boiler, um, boiler link pumps. So as the output of the boiler drops off, actually it restricts the flow. So we get a drop off in flow and we get a drop off in temperature. And I'm not quite sure of the, um, the process or the maths behind that, uh, but it certainly works. I know that um, you know, I fit weather comp in the 200s all the time and I get very, very close matches to temperature, but I haven't um, looked at the characteristics of that in enough depth. It's, it's sort of part of where we are looking at at the moment. So. But I hope that explains it. So the basic principle is if you're going to balance and set your flow rates um, based on delta T20 when it's not your design temperature outside, 
based on it being the correct temperature inside, you're not going to balance that system correctly. You're going to be throttling that down and you're going to be strangling it. It's not going to uh, perform properly. Um, later on, you'll have much wider delta T's when you're at design temperatures than you were meant to. Uh, so I hope that helps.